Marcus found the money shown in his pants pockets. This would be apostrophe in his pants pockets before doing laundry. What amount of money did Marcus find in his pocket? So pause this video and see if you can count this up. All right, now let's work through this together. So we could start with the dollars and then go to the change, or we could start with the change and then go to the dollars. Actually, let's we'll start with the change. So we have a dime here. This is 10 cents. We have a nickel. This is five cents. And we have two quarters. Each of these are 25 cents. 25 cents. So if we add these up, 25 plus 25 is 50. 50 plus five is 55. And then we have another 10 cents, gets us 65 cents. So we have a total of 65 cents if we just look at the change here. And now when we look at the dollar bills, we have $10 plus $5 is $15, $15. Now if we add $15 to 65 cents, what we're going to end up with is $15 and 65 cents. Let's do another example. So here, we're told that Shimon has $23.27 in her wallet. Which of the following could represent the amount of money Shimon has? We can only pick one answer. So let's just actually pause this video first and try to do it yourself before I do this with you. All right, so let's try to work this out. So here on the dollar bills, just this part over here, or maybe I should draw it like this, just this part over here, this is 20 plus one plus another one. So this is $22. And then I have four quarters, four quarters. That's 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25. So that's 25, add another, you get 50. Then another 25, you get 75. Yet another, you get a, a whole dollar. So this is another $1 right over here. So that's $1. So 22 plus $1, we get to $23. $23 is this part. And let's see how much change is here. We have 10 cents. So this is 10, this is 10, this is five. One, one. So let's see, 10 plus 10 is 20, plus five is 25, plus two here is 27. So this is 27 cents. So if we take the total on choice A, we do get $23.27 if we add all of this up, which is exactly what she needed in her wallet. And they said choose one answer, so this must be the answer. But let's see why these don't work out. So right over here on B, I have 20 and then I have three $1 bills. So this is $23 right from the get-go there. And then I have more than four quarters. Just these four quarters over here are going to be another dollar. That would get us to $24 before we even count anything else. So we're already above this amount. So that's why we can rule that one out. And then over here, well, we have $20 and five. That's $25. Before I even count these other two to get us to 27, we're already more than $23.27. So we can rule that one out as well.